Um, and I, I'm glad I got to go last because one, my, I'll, I promise I'll keep mine as short as I can. And two, it's going to dovetail nicely with what the other speakers talked about as well. And that is I want to share with you an aphorism that one of my early mentors gave to me at Microsoft. And it's an aphorism that I have lived by over this last 27, 28 years uh, working in the software industry. So this mentor, I was really lucky to be paired up with somebody early on who was brilliant, right? And taught me a ton of stuff. And this guy, usually when, you were in a, when he was in a room, he was the smartest guy in the room. And I was always really impressed by that. But he said once, he said, you know, actually, truthfully, I, I said, you know, God, you always seem like you're the smartest guy in the room. He says, well, not really. I, actually, truthfully, I try to be the dumbest person in any room I go into. And now, granted, I was like early 20s, right? I looked up to this guy. I had no idea what that meant. I, I tried to pretend I knew what it meant at first. And then I finally realized that oh, I should ask. So I said, well, wait a minute. What do you mean by that? You're like the smartest guy in any room you go into. And he says, no, you got to stop thinking that as as if people are sort of stack ranked by how smart they are, and that smartness is some sort of uh, single dimensional quality. Everybody is really smart at something. And chances are, the people that you're in the room with know something more about a particular topic than you do. So, so by being the dumbest person in the room, what he said was his attitude was that any room he found himself in, any group of colleagues he was working with, he decided that he was going to assume he was the dumbest person there, and he was going to take it on to learn everything he could from all those other people. Whatever they could teach him, he was going to learn it. Sometimes it was about software development. Other times it was about other things, like cooking, or bicycle riding, or art, or film, or anything. Because of course, ideally, you shouldn't just be a software developer. You need to be a more generalized person someone who has a broader understanding of the world, because ultimately that'll make you more valuable the older you get. One thing that I often used to say to students is that you know, being a really fantastic software engineer will get you very, very uh, far in terms of like, uh, you know, your first couple of years in the software industry. After that, though, that's going to kind of run out. And your employers are going to want you to take on more responsibility and have skills that go far beyond the ability to code. If you only know how to code, your career is not going to go very far. You've got to develop more broad skills. And you can learn those from the people that are around you. So I took this to heart, and I decided, yeah, I'm going to do it. And every time I found myself in a new room, I just assumed that I was going to be the dumbest person there. I was going to seek out what everyone else could teach me, and I would absorb everything that they could give me. I did this many, many times, <laughs> and I realized that there was also sort of a corollary to this rule uh, that I want to share with you as well. And that corollary is, is after a while, you've spent time in a given room, you may find that actually you have absorbed now and learned most of what everyone can teach you about what they know. When that happens, it's just time to find a bigger room. And that's when you need to know that it's time to take on a new challenge, to move to something bigger that seems much more scary to you. Now, obviously, you know, don't have an arrogance when you walk in and say, oh yeah, I already know everything. Spend time getting to know everyone and learn what they can give to you. But after a long time in one place, it is probably time for you to think about taking on a bigger challenge. And that's when you need to go find a bigger room. It's a little bit like being the you know, big fish in the small pond. Anybody can be that if you stay around that pond long enough. When you find yourself in that position, take on the challenge. Move to the next level and go beyond. So since we're running short on time, I'm going to keep my comments to that. Hopefully this aphorism is going to be something that uh, will help you guys as well. And I think there's going to be, uh, we're moving on to a time where you guys can ask some questions and network. So thanks for inviting me here to be tonight. And uh, I, thanks for everyone for coming out and seeing us. Thanks.